Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. Hey, everybody, how y'all doing? It's your favorite YouTuber in the whole world, Mr. Bama Ballistics. Man, if I got one for y'all. Listen, I rented, well, actually, I bought Top Gun Maverick the other night on YouTube. And <laughs> I'll put it this way. If I wanted to watch Star Wars, I would have watched Star Wars. <laughs> y'all see what I mean in a minute. <laughs> you will see what I mean when I get this cigarette lit. I don't get into it. All right. Because, uh, <laughs> oh, boy. And spoiler alert for those of y'all that ain't seen it, turn the video off now if you care about spoilers. But if you're here for an honest to God review, here you go. Now, <laughs> let's see. Let's compare the two. Now, well, actually, you know, I'll give my opinion on the movie by itself first. Maverick was an okay movie for, uh, Late 80s, early 90s, continuation style movie, all right? <laughs> and at least they left it open for a sequel. Yeah. I mean, well, technically, as long as the Navy's around and as long as they're flying F-18s, I guess, there'll always be a sequel, but or as long as F-18s exist. But anyway, because <sighs> uh, they introduced Goose's son, I forgot his call sign on there, but anyway, yeah, there was tension between those two, <laughs> but, <laughs> oh boy, now, before I get into why I think those two are related, I don't know if they did this on purpose, or if they just ripped them off, or if they, it's an accident, like a happy accident, or what, but anyway, if you haven't seen the very end of it, go ahead and tune out because I'm going to spoil it for you. The part where they land, the part where Maverick and Goose's son get shot down and they steal an F-18 off an enemy airbase that they just got through bombing. As best I can remember, that's only ever happened once, but it actually happened. All right. <laughs> now... And this was, I think I saw this on infographics, but anyway, this bomber crew got shot down and they were over the objective, currently bombing the objective when they got shot down, which was enemy air base. And they parachuted to the ground into the wood line. And of course, when they got down and got where they could, they ran across open ground somehow or another and stole an enemy bomber <laughs> and rejoined the bomber formation back in World War II. All right. And damn near got shot down again by their friendlies. But, you know, German bomber coming up on the formation. Hello. The only reason they didn't get shot down is because they wasn't shooting back. <laughs> but anyway, that actually happened. Or something close to it. But it's only ever happened like once. During wartime. Now, anyway. Hell. Of course, it was full of nods to the original Top Gun movie. I mean, why wouldn't they? You know. And I grew up loving Top Gun and Star Wars. All right. I actually had the Top Gun game on Nintendo NES. As pitiful as it was. <laughs> it was actually a pretty good game for the time. But. Anyway, because I love both movies, I'm able to love this movie. Because, gee, oh my God, where have we seen this mission before? I can almost hear that alien admiral giving the mission briefing. <laughs> I mean, good God. Gee, oh my God. In what other movie have the heroes, the one hero that could do the job, had to navigate a narrow trench at low altitude because if he got too high, the turbo lasers, I mean, excuse me, sand missiles would shoot him down before he got there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway. But, uh, <laughs> and also, Iron Eagle. Yeah. They were, it was either a ripoff of Iron Eagle or Star Wars, one or the other, closer to Star Wars than Iron Eagle. Because when they got to the end of the trench, 
guess what they had to blow up? An exhaust port. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, they went there. <laughs> but, uh, oh, and also, apparently, there was only one guy that could pull it off. Mm -hmm. And if they didn't do it, it was the end of the world. Pretty much. <laughs> and then they had a shit fight on the way back out. Yeah. They ripped off Star Wars. I'm going there because in both Maverick and Star Wars, they harped on how hard the mission was going to be and just kept on and on and on about how difficult it was going to be. The only difference is in Maverick, they actually trained for the mission. In Star Wars, they said, all right, y'all go get them. They started launching planes. Well, spaceships anyway. But, uh, <sighs> In both of them, they couldn't use a level bomber because they were too slow. In Star Wars, the x wings is a little better than the TIE Fighter, but you know, in Maverick, apparently they couldn't even engage with enemy fighters, and then all of a sudden they engaged with enemy fighters and kicked their asses. <laughs> but anyway, oh, I had to fly down this narrow trench all the way to the end. And when they got to the end, it was a steep climb out after... They released their ordinance and prayed that it hit. Now, in Star Wars, the leader missed. Well, he hit the uh, exhaust port, but it didn't go in. In Maverick, Maverick hit the exhaust port, but it wasn't meant to go in. It was meant to blow the top off of it. So that when Goose's son came behind him, he could get his missile in, or his bomb. Well, in Star Wars, Luke was not the first guy to fire at that thing. He was the second guy. Oh, my God, the similarities. In Maverick, Maverick did it the proper way. He used the laser guidance and everything like he was supposed to. And he blew the top off the thing just like he was supposed to. And then he got up and got on. Well, ish. But anyway, Goose's son come behind him. Luke Skywalker, hello. When Goose's son come behind him, he didn't have laser guidance. His uh, Rio, I think that's what they call the backseaters, the Rio couldn't lock on with the laser, so he's like, fuck it, I'm going to fire anyway. <laughs> Down goes the Death Star. <laughs> he hit it dead, true, and square. On blind luck. Pretty much. <laughs> the only thing missing was Goose whispering in his ear, son, use the force. Huh? Use the force. You've disabled your targeting computer. I know. Like, they didn't take it that far. But in the, in the heat of the moment, he was like, I can't get a lock. I can't get a lock. Fuck it, I'm shooting anyway. <laughs> like, damn, really? How much closer can you get? <laughs> Oh, boy. They ripped off Star Wars, and LucasArts or Lucasfilm didn't even catch it. They were a part of this movie. <laughs> they did the either the CGI or the sound, one or the other, as Skywalker or something other, which is an affiliate of theirs. It's in the credits. Right over their head. They either missed it or they didn't give a shit. <laughs> and apparently I'm the first one to call them out on it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn. I mean, it was a good movie, but it was a ripoff of Star Wars. <laughs> a direct ripoff. Gee, oh my God, where have we seen this mission before? And when you watch it again, you'll know. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Anyway, I just got off work. So I'm going to go in the house, heat up something to eat. Y'all take it easy, have fun, and be safe.